This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to build the final piece, which is the shank. So to do this, we're going to set up for a two rail sweep. So we're going to have this inside curve and these two outside curves could become our rails. So first thing is to join up these outside curves. So I'm going to run the join command and select those two curves and right click. Two curves join into one open curve. Build a new layer and call this the shank surface layer, that current layer. And now we can do our two rail sweep. So surface and sweep two rails. We'll select these two rails and these two cross sections and right click. You want to watch your seams. I'm going to put the seam right on the inside on the rails. You just click on it and you can drive it around. So you can see they're both going the same way around. This one's going that way and if you come down here and this were flipped upside down, this one's going that same way around. It's kind of a counterclockwise, clockwise that you're looking to line up. So once they're lined up and we can right click and we get a preview of our sweep. This pinches in here and in order to fix that, we just turn on the maintain height option and click preview. And you can see that evens out the sweep and we can click OK. I'm going to turn off my shank curves here. Now we're going to close up this end. So I put the seam down the bottom here. So if we turn on our edge tools, we can see there's a split right down here. I'm going to blend the end of this, so I want to put another split up top here. Under Analyze is Edge Tools Split Edge. I'll select the edge. And I can come to the top. There's a mid snap up here, and I'll click one time. You can see there's a new split. We'll right click to complete. So now we're ready to blend. So I can see how far to blend. I'm going to bring back my head and my pad. And under surface, I'm going to choose blend surface. And I'm prompted for the first edge. I'm going to select up top here. And remember about the picking of the blend edges, making sure to pick them on the same sides. So we selected that one up top. So that was my first edge. And I'll right click. And now I'm going for my second edge. Pick this one up top. And right click. We have some of these dialogues around. You can see here it's starting my blend. I can turn on preview and actually see the blend. So if you don't have same height shapes on, you can see that that'll come out. You can adjust this back or just turn on same height shape. So you can play around and adjust it till you get it where you really like it. So that's about good. It's touching both. I'll click OK. I'm going to close the edge analysis and we can join these two up. Joined into one open poly surface. I'm going to mirror this to the other side. Select the object and mirror. Zero is the mirror plane and I'll hold shift and click. Can hold shift and select the other one and join that up and we have one closed poly surface. Let's take all these and put them on the default layer. Make that current and shut some other things off. And there we have it. There's our diamond ring. Always check for naked edges. So we can select all our objects here and do show edges. We have no naked edges. So everything is watertight and set to go. And that is going to conclude the diamond ring tutorial.